right, so this week I just wanted to quickly go over everything I'm going to be packing with me. And I'm going backpacking Europe in less than two weeks. So I'm just going to go over everything that I'm packing really quickly. Okay, so I'm going to try and make this quick, but I'm going to start down here with everything that's down here, and we're going to move our way up to what's up there. It's really not that much stuff, so I'm trying to go through it as quickly as I can. Starting down here, this is just the clothes I would be wearing on the way there on the plane, so I'm not packing it. I'm going to be wearing it. Same with the shoes, I'm wearing those. So I'm not packing that stuff, but it will be coming with me. Next, we have all my electronic stuff and, you know, passport, camera charger. Now, that's for the camera that I'm using right now, which you can't see, but I'll put a picture of it, like, right now so you can see what this looks like. It's a Sony RX100. Um, that is my phone, iPhone SE. Earbuds, phone charger, tripod for this camera that I'm using right now. That is a GoPro. That's a GoPro Hero Session. And that's the charger for the GoPro. Um, this is a 2 terabyte external hard drive by Seagate. I actually just bought that because I need extra space for all of my, you know, videos for vlogging. That's to plug in the computer. This right here has just some extra stuff in it. Have a spare SD card for this camera and a spare battery in here as well for this camera. This is just my camera case. I actually don't have anything in it right now. Okay, now some sunglasses. Uh, this is my wallet. It just has like my debit cards and stuff in it. My driver's license. And then of course a lock. Pretty necessary to have that. Uh, that is an Acer laptop. Literally just bought that because my other one fell off a couch on to a tile floor and shattered the screen. So had to get that, which is actually much better than my other one. So that was actually kind of a much needed thing. I needed that. All right, on to some more stuff. This is my plug adapter. So it takes all the different plugs. You know, Australia, Europe, United States, UK, all that stuff. This will do it. Also has some USB ports on there, which is really nice to have that on there as well. Okay, so we just got some sandals here because well, we might need them. Shampoo, conditioner, toothpaste, you know, um, hand sanitizer. I obviously have them in a bag because TSA requires that you do. There's a sleep mask. Now I'm going to get into what's in this bag really quick. Okay, so now onto that bag of stuff. There's a few things in here. Got some soap in here, which I mean you can use for all different stuff, but I'll probably use for like body soap, body wash, razor, some earplugs, you know, stuff like that, toothbrush. There's a hairbrush, of course, some floss, first aid kit, some laundry sheets just in case I need them. Um, that's some chapstick. A ton of hair ties, because you never have too many hair ties. And some fingernail clippers. Okay, so this is just a packing cube. This is a large packing cube, and I'm probably, I don't have anything in it right now, because I think I'm going to use that for dirty laundry, because I didn't need to put anything else in there. I fit everything I needed in those two packing cubes, which I'll get to in a second. Now, this is a waterproof rain jacket. It folds up in a little pouch here. This is a Columbia one. It was actually not too expensive. I only paid like 40 US dollars for this one. Actually seems really nice, but I'm bringing that because, I mean, more than likely it's going to rain at some point while I'm there. I'm going to be there for over a month, so it's probably going to rain at some point. I'll probably need it. It's just a lightweight hoodie. Wraps are pretty small. Those are one pair of jeans. I'm going to be wearing the other pair, so I only need to pack one pair, which barely takes up any space. Now we got some microfiber towels here, which I think is pretty important to have. They dry really fast, so that's good. Now, in here, these are my packing cubes, which are really amazing, by the way. I think, anyway. Keep everything very organized. Here, it's just, you know, socks, underwear, things like that. Plenty of pairs. You really don't want to have, like, dirty socks or underwear. That really sucks. And in here, we just have several t-shirts, some shorts in there, bathing suit. Everything fits in there really nicely. Okay, now on to the bags that I'm using. This is just a Osprey Daylight bag, so it's pretty small. It's kind of just like a day bag that you take out um, when you go on like day trips or something. When I go out for a day exploring or whatever I'm doing, I can just pull my camera stuff in here and I won't have to, you know, carry around with me. 
Okay, this is something I forgot to show you guys a second ago. This is my Hydro Flask. It's 24 ounce. And it's just an insulated water bottle. It's made out of stainless steel. Really nice to have because you can just put your own water in it. And it keeps it cold for like a really long time. This thing's amazing. I would probably like never go anywhere without that. Okay, now onto my bag. Actually, it has like tons of room in it. This is a uh, Osprey Porter 46. And I've actually already used this a couple of times. I took it on my trip to Colorado this past July. And I also took it to Texas when I flew there in November. And it works pretty amazingly. So, you know, it has tons of, like, all the stuff I have here doesn't even fill this bag up. Like, it could fit more. And then it also has that pouch as well. And it's pretty amazing. I'm really happy with this. It has another one, the smaller pouch up there as well. Okay, so I'm going to pack everything in, up in these bags really quick and then show you guys what it looks like. Okay, now everything else here is going into that bag. And basically, my whole idea here is that my other bag that I have is going to be a carry-on bag and we'll go above. This bag will be my personal one, which will be able to fit underneath the seat on the plane. And I'm just going to say with all this stuff, like, some of this I only need because I'm vlogging and I have this YouTube channel, like my GoPro and this camera and that tripod. So, I mean, even like the external hard drive, like, I wouldn't need if I wasn't filming a lot. So, like, half the stuff here, if you're not, like, filming and on a YouTube channel, you wouldn't even need half the stuff here. Yeah, all that stuff's going in that bag, and that's going to fit really no problem, so I'm going to put that in there really quick. Okay, so everything fits in there pretty easily, actually. It doesn't even really weigh that much, and honestly, it could take more than that. So, yeah, I don't know, like, I don't really feel like I'm packing all that much, to be honest with you. And really, both of those bags could hold a lot more stuff, like they're not even anywhere close to being full. So I'm pretty glad about that. And they don't even really weigh that much. All that stuff put together is well under 20 pounds. So, and the carry-on lid is like 22 pounds, and I'm way under that. So the only thing I have a problem carrying any of that stuff on, it's within weight, it's within size. So that should be nice. I'm really hoping I didn't forget anything, but one thing I just want to say is really you don't, <laughs> You don't need as much stuff as you think you're going to need. Like, once I packed all that up, I realized it's really not that much stuff. Like, I don't need that much, and really I need more than the average person because I need all my camera stuff and whatever because I'm making all these videos. So if you weren't doing that, like I said, you'd need even less than this. So leaving in just over a week, so I'll probably be putting out, like, one more video right before I leave, and then it's going to start being vlogs, travel vlogs, which I'm really excited to get into. Thanks for watching, and until next time, have a good one.